Yeah, what should I do? I have actually no clue what I'm going to do. Kind of bored around here. Might as well um, check out the Nether, or maybe even do some strip mining, even though that's very boring. Or I might check all of these caves to see if there are any dark spots left like these. Because I really need to get rid of every single spot that I think could sp potentially spawn a mob. Because the area is now at a state where it's lit up as such... Yeah. That, that so much is lit up that every little dark corner will spawn lots and lots of mobs. And that's not really what I want. I want all the mobs to be focused on my slime farm and simply spawn some slimes instead of stupid creepers that blow up on me. So might as well keep running here and maybe find another cave that I haven't visited before or just go down and check if there's some more redstone or diamond stuff. Because that's always interesting. I see my mob farm is my, uh, my slime farm is over here because I've put this cobblestone wall over there to make it look a bit nicer. It's kind of boring just walking around in this cave which is already lit up. Yeah, every single inch of this part of the cave is just lit up. There's probably not really more to it at all. Except for the fact that I haven't checked the ravine yet. But then again, it's not really easy to check the ravine because I've made this big building thing here. Let's check it out this way. But it seems that everything over there is also lit up. But I can't be entirely sure because I have explored that area in a very early state when I was still rather lazy and not really spending a lot of my torches on lining up the area for a slime farm of course. Because I still need to check how I can check. Um, how many mobs are spawning in the area but I don't think many are because I would have heard them by the time oh there's a big dark area around here and a very annoying waterfall as well and that was a fail that as well Let's check out this dark part of the cave. Some lava already down here. That mean yeah, I'm pretty low in here. Few dark spots, but not much. That's nothing. I am hearing a zombie, but I don't know where it's from. Whoops. I think this is another way out. It is. Yeah, there are a few dark spots in here, but it's it's not much at all. Um, this is a part of the cave that goes up, so might as well be an area that I didn't light up before. Well, it seems to be an area that I didn't light up before because there's a creeper. And I couldn't find my sword. It came from this direction, but there's not really a very dark cave in here. So it must have been because the light level at the over here is just a bit too low. There's some gold, always pick up gold, quite interesting. Just one piece, but 
still. It's cool. Might as well pick it up. And it seems like there's a big area with lava over there, but I see this is the area with lava and such that I explored in a very, very early state of my survival on this map, so it really won't be handy to check out that area because it's probably very well lit already. I'm gonna have to get rid of all these annoying waterfalls. Just, just dig around here and then it should probably... Oh no. It's because the game mechanics are very annoying, it won't. <laughs> I was almost trying to fly there, well actually I was, but... Don't tell anybody. This will do. Oh, still not. And this should do the trick. Oh, yes, it does. Little lake that I didn't see before. It's some redstone. It's interesting. This water isn't really interesting, but redstone is always nice to get. quite some big chunks in here and it's good for my XP as well now let's check out that part of the ravine quite some dark spots in here that I have to fix annoying water over here No, this is not really much interesting stuff. I think I have lit up about all of the cave. So slime should spawn more often, but it might be that there is another cave system within 128 blocks away from the slime farm. So that's kind of ruining it all. So I will have to look for that other cave somewhere, so let's go up to the surface and check some other cave systems. Hello guys, just something I wanted to share with you. I was just walking around in these caves trying to light them all up. As you can see I'm basically out of torches, but I've got quite some interesting stuff with me, a lot of redstone, some emeralds and some lapis lazuli which is always great and I found some diamonds I pretty much checked all of the cave and this is all the diamonds over here but I'm pretty happy with the results I got over here so let's kill this enderman no ender pearl but it kinda sucks but let's get these diamonds four diamonds to be exact and that's a nice number and I'm pretty much lost in this cave so I'll have to look for a way up somewhere because I've got no clue where I even came from where I have been and where I can find a way up but water is always a nice way to get up somewhere and I do see light from a bit of lava which is glitching out and there's this absolutely massive waterfall in here so, oh. He was still alive. <laughs> this waterfall is so massive. It's unbelievable. I think it's the biggest natural waterfall I have ever seen. And this basically means it, this cave ends somewhere in a ocean or a lake. So that's a great way to get up over here. So yeah, I basically got out of that cave much more soon than I expected and 
I don't really know where I am. I'm not entirely sure. I, I should probably put up my render distance, but I am downloading a torrent and uploading a YouTube video at the same time, so it might not be a very good idea. It seems that this is not the site where I'm living. So I should actually put up my render distance because I am kind of disorientated over here. Um, it, it must be here somewhere. I mean, I can't be like very far. Oh, I know that. I think I know that structure over there. There's a swamp I am over there, so I shouldn't head that way. Maybe it is this way after all, but I don't really think so. Yeah, I don't really have a clue where I am. But that's not that bad, I guess. Because it's a big plain biome without a lot of trees and you can see quite far away so it has to be somewhere near here and I should find something that I recognize very soon and there it is uh, torches that means that's probably where I have to go I don't really know where this is, but I see the jungle, so I'll be going there. Um, yeah, I have a clue now. It's, it's somewhere um, on the side where the jungle temple was. Phew, it's, I'm lucky I can still pause my game with that. That's one of the advantages of being on single player mode, I guess. Oh, what a fail. Oh, God. I'm such a noob. I'm almost there. I really recognize this part of the jungle. Oh, I'm still this far away. I expected it to be a little less far away, but it's still not really a problem. Uh, yeah, I should probably just have stayed in the planes. Ah, oh, fucking stupid. Maybe I can continue? No. Oh. 